Okay, hello and welcome to another video by Dakagon Development. In this one we're going to be doing an install of Node.js on Windows. Uh, this is kind of a follow-on from my previous videos where we installed like git and um, set up vim with um, bon Vondal and stuff. So I'm going to be going to a git bash and start installing. So basically we've got uh, this Node.js.org uh, if I, I'm going to use the current, you can actually use the um, LTS if you like. Um, in general, some of the latest features aren't going to be in this. So for now, I'm going to go here. You can go LTS if you want. So I'm just going to click on that and download that. be a couple of minutes. Incidentally, there will be a link to this website in the description below the video as well. Now that's finished uh, downloading, so I'm just going to literally click it and start the install. I'm going to untick that and click run. And next. And accept the agreement. Uh, you can read the agreement. Most of the time they kind of just say, don't copy it, don't do this, don't do that. You know, it's usually fairly standard. Um, and next. Next. It's adding it to the path. This may require a restart of the computer. Um, next and install and then accept the UAC if it comes up. This one seems to be taking a little bit. Oh, there we go, UAC popped up then. Took a while. So, uh, this may take a little bit of time, so I'm going to be back with you when it's done. Okay, that's actually done. I'm just going to click finish. Now, I'm pretty sure that it doesn't do the, um, the actual um, path straight away I'm going to actually close this and reopen the bash just in case but I'm pretty sure it won't but you can actually just go in your node.js thing and use that or node.js prompt but in general for it to work in everything like let's say the git bash oh, it does that's pretty cool that was, uh, last time I did this uh, it didn't do that you had to restart the computer so no it seems like it's working let's zoom in and make that a bit bigger I don't know if it's dash, dash version or something like that. Yeah, 5.6 NPM. So that's basically the install done. Um, a lot simpler than it used to be. That was quite quick. So that being said, you can um, get, like I said, the links at the bottom of the video. And um, it was a really straightforward thing. So I'll see you in the epilogue. Before I start the official epilogue, I'd like to just uh, quickly address the fact that I didn't actually release my 7.30am or 8am video this morning. Uh, again, that was due to a few unforeseen circumstances. My midweek video ended up kind of happening today, as opposed to you know, on Friday, instead of actually on Wednesday, which was a bit of a weird, mad thing, but that's what happened. So. It's just one of those things. Uh, also, uh, for anyone who's interested in um, kind of contributing ideas for the next video, uh, for the midweek specials, you can leave a comment at the bottom of this video and let me know if you'd like to see something specific. Uh, if you keep it on topic to preferably programming or some sort of development or even design, I'm happy to do some videos in Photoshop or anything like that, that's, that's cool too. But yeah, uh, I mean, there's a few there's a few different things I'd like to do. I mean, I'd like to do like a C or C++ series. I'd like to do um, something to do with Node. I don't, I've, I'm not a Node JS programmer as such. I don't really do things in JavaScript much at all. I'll do the odd little bit and piece when I'm making a website or something. But in general, I don't really make JS apps. I think it would be a nice thing to get into and I think it would be nice for you guys to see the process and go through. I mean we've installed um, Node.js in this video, 
because it was something that has been requested a few times and I thought it'd be something nice I mean it's it's kind of a, a popular language at the moment is JavaScript it's something that people enjoy uh, me personally I don't know whether I enjoy it yet or not it looks rather concise especially with the newer um, EMCA 2016 and stuff like that it's, it's getting to be quite a nice language in general it's very object orientated now which is weird because I don't know. It is a scripting language, but it's a nice one. It's front end. Uh, may even have a play with React JS as well. I haven't really played with that much neither. But it's something that I believe is probably something you'd want to learn if you were doing um, JavaScript as a job, for instance, or something like that. Uh, I may go over a few different sorts of um, frameworks and things like that too. But again, let me know, guys, what is it that you guys want to see? Because at the end of the day, it's all about you guys. Do you understand? So, yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, on with the epilogue. Welcome to the epilogue of the um, video. Now, I'd like to do a special thanks to uh, Mr. Dot uh, Cockerus. Co Cockerus. Uh, he's the one who kind of suggested the previous video from our midweek special and also he's just subscribed to me and gave me a like on that video so i'd like to do a thank you and shout out to him uh, i'll leave his uh, channel link in the description uh, i believe he's my newest subscriber as well three hours ago so thanks a lot for that um not a lot to say in this uh, epilogue other than obviously um was it happy um is it good friday i believe good friday yeah and I hope all you guys are having a great day. Uh, I'm going to be popping off for the weekend, so there probably won't be no videos on the weekend or anything. Uh, I'll try and get my Monday video sorted. I've still got to do today's video yet, which this isn't today's video, even though it's being uploaded today and it's been recorded today. It's more of an extra special one, this is, that's all. It's just to go with the midweek special since I was kind of on a roll. Uh, I'm still finishing editing and... Um, rendering the um, actual video for today which is uh, episode 3 of the website design series and then on Monday we have the um, next episode of the DLL injection series again guys if you want me to do anything different during these times let me know uh, leave, drop a comment let me know about what you want to see because at the end of the day it's you guys who are viewing it you guys who are going to gain or not gain something from this depending on how you feel about it so if you drop a comment in the bottom of this video I'll actually know what you want to see you know what I mean I can't I can't read your minds guys okay so that, that's kind of my little rant about that next also uh, let me know what editor do you use what dev tools do you like what do you want to learn about do you want to learn about javascript do you want to learn about c do you want to learn about c plus plus python what language would you like to learn i'm happy to get together some data and uh, make a series on whatever language if i don't know the language it doesn't matter because i can learn it you know what i mean it, it's a case of i can just pop together some stuff, look at the language and talk about the general ideas of it and have the syntax documents in front of me so I can just talk about what it is and how to do things on it. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, teaching these things, you don't actually necessarily need to know the content completely. You just need to be able to put across the content in a good manner. Uh, I don't code myself in Python most of the time, I don't really use it, but I'm happy to do tutorials on it because I can learn it. Do you know what I mean? It's not something that hard, it's a programming language. That's another thing I've noticed, people seem to think that programming is hard. Programming is not hard, it's time consuming. Debugging can be a headache at times, but programming is not hard. So just remember that. If you want to learn, you can. Don't let people turn around and say, okay, no, I can't. you can't learn that. It's too hard, it's too complicated. Things are only complicated if you let them be complicated. So think about that. 
not for too long, just think about it. Anyway, guys, I've ranted and rambled on for a few minutes now, and you know, it's obviously maybe boring to some of you, I don't know. But this is after the video, this is this is just the epilogue, this is me ranting about stuff, talking topical stuff, and doing a random talk about God knows what. Um, and obviously doing shout outs to great people like Mr. Cockeras. If I'm pronouncing that wrong, let me know in the comments, mate, because I have no idea how to pronounce that. Okay. Um, having said that, it looks like he's um, subscribed to quite a few interesting uh, channels. Uh, dev tips. I haven't actually been on dev tips before, so I might actually give that a look. You know, it's always good to check out uh, these things, guys. You know what I mean? Looks like he's got some interesting, fun things as well. So, I'm going to end that video about here, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Remember, have a great day. Can't even say great. Blah, 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 blah. Something, something, random noise.